Hello, my name is Dev Man, and welcome to Yes Your Grace, a Kingdom Sims Choose Your Own Adventure style game. And I've been watching this one for a long time. Yes, Your Grace is a game of tough choices. It will be impossible to satisfy the needs of every petitioner. Sometimes your subjects will have spiteful intentions, and sometimes life will get in the way. If you simply have enough resources at the end of each week, you know, that's good enough. All right, let's see how we do. I've never been a good king before. Is this our tutorial? Click on the petitioner to call them forward. Audrey. It's time, Your Grace. Click on the throne to step down. Very well. I had better put on the crown. Boy. The crown of the King of Davern. Boy. It's getting a bit rusty. I'll wear it. I should. You can leave the room by walking to the edge of the screen or by selecting the doors. Alright, let's edge the screen. This is the map of your castle. Click on the castle wall to go there. Your Grace. A deserter. Found one of ours hiding in a shed. Shed? Why would you do this, Sobek? There's too many of them. We have no chance of winning. If you let him off, the rest may follow. However, our army is sparse as it is. We need every set of hands to be able to hold a sword, Your Grace. Even the least brave soldiers are essential now. There is no place for cowards under my banner. We're gonna go Mad King. Anyone who refuses to stand for Davern will be met with justice. Oh, you got daggered. The shame. You did what you had to, Your Grace. Over here, Your Grace. Into the bomb shelter. Sons of Davern, my brothers, we stood through the worst of times. We proved our strength in many battles, and today we will prove it again. My bravest men, I bid you to fight for all you hold dear. For Davern! And thus, yes, your grace begins. I'm absolutely looking forward to this. It's going to be a great time. One year earlier. Three, two, one. Okay, here I come. Lorsulia, you found me. Well done, father. Come now, Lorsulia. It's not often we can do this. I told you, I don't want to play. Aren't you too old for this? Losulia, that's no way to speak to your father. Losulia is a stick in the mud. Shut it, Azalea. We could see you from miles away. Got you. You shouldn't have insulted your sister from across the gardens. She always has to ruin everything. She's so proud she couldn't even find a place to hide. I wasn't even trying to hide. I don't want to play. Next time you don't want to play, maybe try writing a formal announcement. Oh wait, you can't write. Of course I can, you nitwit. Both of you, cut it out. Well, we've already got family troubles. Hello. Oh, you know I'm not playing with you, darling. The sun finally came out. Let me enjoy it. Very well. S and here's the little one. No! I was doing so well. You must have cheated. Or, or you peaked. I demand another trial of... The game. How official. Maybe next time, Sidani. Forgive me, Your Grace. I hate to interrupt, but your subjects will arrive soon. Alright, enough games. 
The throne awaits. Grevno, one week. Week one. One week, week one. Yeah. The petitioners will start queuing in a moment, Your Grace. Boy. We really need to shorten visiting hours, then. My wife. Can you go speak to Lorsulia, my dear? I tried talking to her, but she just won't respond. I don't know what's gotten into her recently. Maybe she'll open up a bit more to you. She's probably wandering about at the wall. Of course, my sweetest. Now, I'm doing voices now, but <laughs> let's just say my voice is flux. Your Grace, I bring bad news. The recent rains have soaked through our roofs. The pantry roof has collapsed, as well as some of the walls of our dungeon. Only one cell is currently functional. We should really fix those things before they get worse. Otherwise, we'll keep losing supplies. You'll see the required fixes in the, your weekly summary at the end of the week. When you meet people and talk to petitioners, your advisor will make notes about the encounter in your archives. You can see all the entries below by, kicking, uh, by clicking the Archives button below. Very well. Peasant. Your Grace, my daughter's ha wedding is at hand. Congratulations. The problem is... We don't have enough gold or supplies to make a worthy feast. What will my daughter-in-laws... What will my daughter's-in-laws think of our family? We want to hire a band. Buy some of that fancy wine on the market. We would only need five gold and five supplies. Wow, so you want me to pay for your wedding and give you the food? What a... You know... I'm a man with morals. And I believe you should have a good wedding, but I don't think you should be asking the guy who houses and protects you. All right, fine. I'm easily convinced. So we got... We lost five gold, we lost five supplies, but we got one happiness. You can't have a marriage without music and something to kill the thirst. Oh yes, thirst is the worst. We will show the peasants what a real feast looks like. Ha ha! Your Grace, I come here representing my village. We want to ask you for seven gold to help us gather tools and resources required to build an inn. We could really use a new place of rest after a long day of work. Yeah, that seems fair. Let's do that. Make it the best inn around. Oh, we surely will. Thank you, Your Grace. Oh, we got a late entry here. Who's this? Monsters! Beasts dressed in black. They came in the night, unseen, unheard, until they arrived. They attacked the village. We heard dreadful screams of the slain. Your Grace, I beg you, you must send your men. Check it what happened. Find those responsible. My agents will check the village. The general should easily deal with these bandits. Thank you, Your Grace. We got a lot of happiness on our first day now. That's pretty good. We're, we gave away most of our supplies. I mean, we still got a lot of gold and that left, but our army's a little meager. But Click on the glowing flowers to advance the once a week. Sometimes you'll need to see your family members before you can advance. Right, we need to go see, uh, was it Lorsulia on the wall? Uh, oh. Let's take a look at the dungeon first. Damn. This is worse than I thought. The recent downpours have damaged a lot of buildings, Your Grace. While we still have space for prisoners, we should focus on buildings that need more attention. I've had a scribe write a list of things that need to be fixed. You will see this in your weekly summary, Your Grace. Sounds like it's going to be costly. Yes. Why, all the gods that could have been me. Your Grace, do you see what's happened here? If I was in the other cell, I would have been crushed. This... This is a sign. I love the I love the little voices that they make too. The gods have forgiven my sins. I shall serve the mighty ones. I will dedicate my life to those in need. I mean, if I could get out of here, please. Why were you here again? I uh, bumped into the innkeeper on the street and stepped on his toe. How dare you tell such falsehoods? 
He ordered a gallon of beer, drank it all by himself, and didn't even have the gold to pay for it. I know the innkeeper. He was pretty upset. Oh, yes. I think I remember. Your Grace, I've been enlightened. I will never do such a stupid thing again. I will serve a higher purpose now. Just maybe let me out. All right. Uh, you got uh, you got what you deserved, or you had enough? I think you had enough. Boy, uh, I hope you learned your lesson. You may leave. Bear. What? Really? Bear. The gods truly have chosen me. I will go and spread their wisdom. Bear, 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 bear. Thank you, your grace. Our paths will cross again. I can feel it. Well, there we go. I hope I didn't make a mistake on that one. Let's go to the castle wall where I believe Lorsulia is. My eldest daughter. And a kitty cat. Lorsulia, what's the matter? Oh, it's you, father. You need to stop fighting with your sister. Do you want to talk about what happened in the gardens? No. I'm fine, father. Why didn't you play with us? You used to find the best spots, remember? Maybe. I'm not five anymore. So Asalia's been pretty nasty recently. I don't know where your sister learned to be so rude. I can see something's wrong. Why won't you talk to me? Everything is fine. Don't you have things to do? Alright. If you want to be that way. Kitty. Good kitty. Oof. What's that smell? Is that you, Dusty? Stinky cat. Smelly cat. Well, it wasn't me. Am I like Dr. Doolittle too? I can speak to the animals? Alright. Yes, father? Can you explain the fight in the gardens? What is the matter with you two? You and Losulia used to be best friends. You mean, why is Losulia being such a big baby? This is the kind of thing I mean. She's annoying as all. You don't have to be best friends, but she is your sister, and you need to stop insulting her. Um, yes, father. I'll try. There we go. Quick and tough punishment. I am a king after all. So that's all I have to do, so... Let's hit the flower. This is your weekly summary screen. Here we'll be able to see your kingdom's weekly income and expenses. You can buy upgrades and fix the castle in the left section. To buy an upgrade, simply click on the button with the upgrade name and you'll be able to add it to the cost of the summary. So we need to, we don't have a lot to fix the market stall, but we do get two gold per week. Or we can pay 12 gold. I mean, we could try to get everything taken care of in one fell swoop. We lose the stuff, but we will get... We'll break even on our gold. We're just going to be really tight for the first... I think... I mean, we could go and repair the theater, too, if we really wanted to. But I think we'll be okay with that. We got a lot of happiness. And apparently the happier the people are, the more taxes and um, that you get. So making the people happy is going to be really helpful for us. So let's fix these for now. And let's continue into week number two. Grieve no. Week two. Ah, I just had to refresh there. All right. The king is ready. And oh my gosh, look at the lineup today. The generals are back. Your grace, no sign of the monsters. We did stumble upon these bandits, though. They were pillaging the village. Redhead, sharp teeth, a crest of Redovia. I thought you could only find them in the books and old manuscripts. Well, it seems like we have one right here, too. Tell me, why are you here? What were you and your men doing near the village? We're just making a living. One man might call it plunder, 
I would call it hard work. Whose banner are you bearing? Is it true that you're from Rodovia? Your man is right. Rodovia is my home. And soon yours too. Ha! Do you have a king? Or are you just a barbaric thief? We are free people. We don't bow to kings or lords. Bold words for someone trespassing in another country. Bold and stupid. I've heard enough. Your grace, we can't allow such barbarians to stalk our lands. Plundering and killing innocent men? There is no question that justice needs to be dealt to this one. Execute him, throw him into the dungeon, know my mercy. Execute him. No Redovian scum will threaten the crown. Behead him. My brothers will hear about this. And you will feel that poisonous bite. Ooh. I need to see you really about this. My daughter's next. I bring news, father. Asalia sneaked out last week. I ran into her when she was going back to her chamber, all laughing and a little tipsy, I think. She wouldn't say where she'd been, but Sadani, as thick as she is, spilled everything to me in the morning. Those two chit-chat all the time. Think I don't realize. Thick, don't speak ill of your sister. What's got into you, Lorsulia? Asalia sneaks out to some wedding, gets all the drunk, and I'm the bad one all of a sudden. Audrey, did you know about any of this? N no your grace. I better talk to Asalia about this. You girls are gonna drive me mad one day. Oh, Audrey's got a quest. What do you make of this, Audrey? The Rodovians? Here? How would they get through the mountains? Why would they threaten a war? There's a lot of questions, but I need answers, Audrey. Forgive me, your grace. I'm just as puzzled. It might be reasonable to start thinking about renewing some old treaties. Talk to old friends, see who can give us a hand. With our current resources, a war would bring certain defeat. I will make some preparations. Thank you, Audrey. You uh, skulk off to the side of the room, you know. You're supposed to be hand of the king. Uh, let's see, we got Lord Etten here. Let's bring in the lords next. My name is Etten. I am the Lord of Branca, your grace. It will be straightforward as possible. Someone has kidnapped my daughter, and they expect me to pay 12 gold to get her back. The thing is, I tracked them down and I know where they're keeping her. I planned everything out. I just need your general to help me take her back. Or I could just pay the ransom. Either way, I need your help, your grace. The general will be gone for two weeks, though? Man. I don't have the money to pay him. But I could turn him away. But I mean, he's a lord. He's not like a peasant or anything like that. You can take the general for two weeks. Pay them once and they'll only want more. This is the best option. You're right. Send the general my way and I will tell him my plan. Thank you, your grace. Good, good, good. It has to work. Uh, let's speak to the banker next. I'm here representing Bank de Florentini, Your Grace. I hear your treasury has seen better times, but I'm here to help. Uh oh, so he's like a he's like a loan shark. How does this all work again? We understand that sometimes it's hard to be a king, and we all want to do our best to help. We offer quick and easy solutions to give you a surge of gold or supplies, whichever you may be in need of. Our exclusive package offers 50 gold or supplies instantly available for your use. The bank only adds a small fee of 10 gold or supplies, depending on the type of loan. It's paid off in weekly amounts of 10 until you pay off your debt, your grace. We won't charge you any additional costs. Oh. Last thing to note, we only uh, do one type of loan at a time, so if you want to borrow gold, we can't lend you supplies until you first uh, repay the loan, and vice versa. Oh, okay. Easy enough to remember. And remember, the first loan is free of charge. You just pay back what you take. I think we'll be okay for now. I don't want to go and put the kingdom into debt to Spanish bankers. 
Your grace, my dear son is nowhere to be found. Well? Yes, a really daft little boy, but still, he's my son. I ask your grace, help us find him. Is there a chance you could do so? I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. You should try to get the villagers to help you. Your grace, please. I can repay you. I have scraped together one piece of gold. I don't have a general, though. Try finding him yourself. I'm not sure my men or gold would make any difference. Your son could be anywhere. I was afraid you would say that, but I will not give up on him. I will find him myself. And who do we got? Petro. Your Grace, I fear for my life. I think someone is after me. What's going on? I think someone is following me. They want me dead. Who's they? I don't know. How could? I, how would I know? I haven't done anything right. I better be going. And that's all the people for the day, so let's go up this way, see if there's anything happening in the castle. In the gardens. Ah, Celia. He snuck out into the town last night. Yes, father. There was a wedding in the village. I've heard there was quite a fine wedding in the village just outside our walls. Considering the resources you spent to help them out, it definitely was. How do you know this? I wish you'd come to ask me first. Lorsulia had told me everything. I don't want to ruin the relationship anymore between them. How do you know this? It sounds as if they had an honor of a royal guest. No, of course not. I've heard what people say is all. Come on now, I know about the wedding. Lors oh, we spilled it anyways. We're gonna start problems with this family. How would she know anyway? Oh, of course. Sadani. Sadani. You're too careless, Celia. Sneaking out at night, insulting your sister? What's next? I don't know. Murder, maybe. Enough of your jokes, Cecilia. Do you know what's out there? What could happen if someone found a princess by herself in the village? All the drunkards. Thugs. Nothing happened, father. I was dressed differently. I'm careful. I'm not stupid. All I know is that I was. all I wanted was a little fun. Lorsulia said you got drunk. That's a lie. I know what I'm doing. I can take care of myself. How many times? Ugh, Lorsulia. Since she's turned 13, she thinks you will make she thinks you will make her marry some fat, dumb prince and send her off to another castle. If she intends to be such a lousy rat, maybe it would be for the best. Is that why she's been acting up lately? I suppose so. It just doesn't change the fact that she's infuriating. And it doesn't change the fact that you didn't stop with that name calling. You're confined to the castle. No more horse riding. I'll tell Audrey to spend your riding lessons for now. Just in case you have the idea to ride off to Prassus or Calidor. And what am I supposed to do in these godforsaken moments? Oh, I double tapped that. I just said, stupid Lorsulia. Don't talk about your sister. I better talk to Lorsulia. I double tapped. Uh, let's go to the wall. I may have just ratted you out to your sister, Lorsulia. You better prepare for war. Look at the beauty in the background. And the sun, the clouds, and the mountains. Oh, it's you. Asalia told me what's going on. Asalia told me why you might be feeling a bit down recently. Oh, and why is that? You'll have to get married at some stage. You're a princess, and every princess needs a prince. You're getting upset and not talking to us about it. Well, I can promise that we'll take it slow. Mm-hmm. Mm, time will show, father. I will check on you later. Mm-hmm. Goodbye, Dusty the Smelly Cat. And now let's go to the... Ooh, the bed chambers. Darling. Foreign barbarians visit us this week. Redovians have come to Davern. One of the bandits was brought to the castle. Redovians? That can't be right. Do you think it's about your... 
Our promise? It might be. What do you think? Thirteen years ago, we promised our unborn child's hand to a thug. Baron, wasn't it? Does it matter? After thirteen years, a Redovian shows up in our castle. I'll be damned. Yes, Larsulia will soon become a woman, and we'll need to find her a husband. And Baron, the villain, will arrive to make me fulfill my promise. Uh, what now? What are we supposed to do now? If Bayron ever shows up to claim our daughter's hand, hopefully no one will believe him. We just need to play stupid. Unless he shows up with an army. Don't be silly now. How could a commoner afford an army? Even we can't. How could Redovians get to Davam? Anything seems possible at this stage. You sent the bandit to the dungeons? No, I let him see justice. Damn it, you should have questioned him first. One less barbarian to worry about, though. Alright, I think we're good for this week. There's nowhere else we need to go, so let's wrap up. I'm terrified. I can handle this. Fine, I will stay here. And let's see. We made 13 gold. We can pay that, and we'll start getting happiness up, which means people will start paying more taxes again. Because we made 11 last time, but now, and 8 uh, supplies. But since we our happiness went down a bit, so did the taxes. So I think this is, uh, this is where I'm going to end the first part of this. We'll definitely be doing more. Stick around with us. Again, you can check me out on my social medias at TheDevMan2DX, and catch me on Twitch at TheDevMan2DX again.